In this video, I'm going to cover the SNS topic, CloudFormation Blueprint. This is a very simple blueprint that simply provisions an SNS topic. These simple blueprints are actually quite handy. If you're learning about uh, a resource and you want to understand it better, you can simply create the resource, then go play around with the council, and then destroy everything cleanly. So it really uh, actually allows you to do that pretty easily. But you can also just use this uh, as is because all the properties here are pretty configurable via parameters. And properties that aren't configurable by parameters, they're configurable by variables. For example, the subscription variables can allow you to add subscriptions to the SNS topic. I'll show you more of that in a bit. To use this, you just add the blueprint to your gem file, you configure some config values here, and you deploy. Here are the commands to add, here's the commands to configure with the one seed, and here's the example of the configuration. So as you can see, there's not much going on with the parameters for an SNS topic, and they're all optional, which is really nice. Here are a couple of deploy commands, and here's some more details about configuration. So subscription, like I mentioned earlier, you can codify uh, the subscribers uh, that you want to have belonging to this SNS topic. And here's an example with email. You just pass it an array of hashes with endpoint protocol. Uh, and if you're using email here, then you have to actually confirm the subscription after the stack launches. So you just have to go to your email and click on the link to confirm it, or else you're not gonna get the notifications when messages are published to the SNS topic. Here's another example that shows how you can configure the policy document that's associated with that topic policy, actually. So you can override that too and customize it for your needs. This example allows S3 from this specific bucket to publish to the SNS topic. And if you're, uh, you're using this example, be sure to change the my test bucket here because that's just an example. You're gonna have another bucket name. Here's just pointing out, thanks to Lono stack naming conventions, you can nicely uh, organize your config files so that they match with the stack names. Uh, so they're nice, just nice and neatly organized. All right, that covers the readme, so now we can jump into the demo. All right, so we grab that line, and then you go to your uh, project, and then you just paste it in here. Of course, I have this handy and dandy um, blueprint uh, helper method that makes it just nice and, and, and shorter there. I'm gonna use that instead. So once you save that, you have to run bundle. So then it pulls in the blueprint. And then after that's done, you could go Lono seed SNS. That's gonna generate some starter config files right here. So let's actually take a look at the SNS ones. Here is the development one. I'm just kind of syntax highlighted. There we go. And they're all optional. Uh, and then here is the variables right here. So uh, I'm gonna leave the parameters alone, just leave optional. Uh, and, but I'm gonna actually adjust this just so to kind of, uh, as part of the demonstration here and just show that you could actually subscribe to subscription via code. Okay, so now we're kind of ready to deploy it. So you just go Lono CFN deploy SNS. Sure, uh, I guess I should kind of do with this so you can kind of see the full command. There you go. So that is now creating an SNS topic. Um, and there we go, it's in creating progress now. So we just go over to Let's say that council refresh this and you can see it here create in progress right there and uh, it's uh, gonna take a little time but it's not gonna take too long sns topics via cloud formation are generally happening very quickly under a minute so i'm just kind of wait here and uh before i was even finish, it's, it's done now so let's see actually how long it took it took uh, 20 seconds okay great so we can click on resources here and there's the physical id right here which is actually clickable there's a slight uh, EDOS council bug here where um, it's not clicking out the right link, so you just click on that. And then um, uh, you can see the topic that, we'll, that we created. So we click here and we should see the subscription that's pending confirmation. So all you have to do is uh, go to your email and click it and then this will be conf conf confirmed, right? Here's the access policy, that's the default one. But again, you can override it with variables. Uh, and that's kind of essentially it. Um, it's not that much going on with this uh, template, but again, what you could do now is you can go here, click edit, modify everything, play around with it a bit, delete it, and then start all over if you want to very quickly and very iteratively. So that's what's kind of really helpful about templates like this. So that covers the SNS topic, CloudFormation Blueprint. Hopefully you found this helpful. Cheers.